Hey S'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code, where I share tech reviews, tutorials, and security and privacy mindset tips. CES is currently going virtually, and this is my day two recap. Now, I would love to provide all of the specs for all of the things that we're seeing at CES, but usually at CES, you only have access to teasers, prototypes, or very minimal spec sheets. Sometimes they can't even tell you when a product is releasing, especially this year when we can't actually touch or get our own video of new products. So I will give you a general overview of the most interesting releases for the day. So to start us off, we have some new car technology announced. Panasonic had a very cool looking augmented display that could work as a heads up display that would project data onto the windshield for the driver, like GPS mapping data your speed and little icons to show like a bicyclist on the side of the road. This thing is called the Augmented Reality HUD or HUD. Sono Motors introduced the Scion, an electric car that charges itself with solar panels. It can go up to 255 kilometers via electricity and 35 kilometers per day generated purely by solar panels, which are all over the car. Sono Motors also wants to make it easy for you to repair your own own car by publishing the maintenance information, so it's very much aligned with my right to repair advocacy. Now we have lifestyle tech. I thought this was pretty cool. Ninu allows you to carry multiple perfume scents or cologne scents in one compact bottle and you can mix and match using a connected app. So if you want a more woodsy scent or something a little bit more floral, you can switch between them. This looks a lot more travel friendly than the little glass bottles that can obviously break in your luggage, so I like the design. For SMB laptops, Lenovo's new ThinkBook Plus Gen 2i comes with the latest generation of NVIDIA GeForce graphics. Like last year, these also have that e-ink display on the back cover. I did get to see the one last year that they have, and it was very cool. And this one does have improved performance on that e-ink screen, as well as the screen inside the laptop. For sensors, I wanted to mention Qualcomm. So Qualcomm is advancing their fingerprint sensor tech with the 3D Sonic Sensor Gen 2. This one will be 50% faster and 77% larger. I can't wait to compare this one to the Gen 1, which is currently in a lot of smartphones. Now there are tons and tons of gaming news that was released as well. So I will go ahead and start with chips and graphics. I mentioned already Intel's Tiger Lake processor yesterday. Specifically, they delved into the H series of those. Intel also promoted their new Rocket Lake S desktop chips, which should show some gaming power increases over their previous generation. On the competitor side, we have AMD. They also introed their new Ryzen 5000 laptop CPUs called the H series. This screenshot gives an overview of the newest ones and some of the specs. They have up to eight cores and 16 threads at four points. 8 gigahertz. AMD said these would be significantly better for single threaded performance as well as overall when compared to Intel. Nvidia showed off their new GeForce RTX 3060 GPU, which will be $329 and available very soon. This will be more for your mainstream gamers on a budget, especially if you are looking to upgrade from the older GTX 1060. As for gaming laptops, two stood out to me. So first off, Alienware is adding the new Nvidia 30 series GPUs to their laptops, the M15 and the M17. So these will be the R4 generation. I have last year's model and it's incredibly powerful. I edit videos on it with no issues whatsoever. I am very curious about how this new one compares to the generation that I currently own. Razer also debuted the new generation of their Razer Blade 15 and the Blade Pro 17 models, also with 30 series GPUs. There are well over 15 different models with different specs to choose from for these going all the way up to like $3,000. So very expensive on the high end, decent prices on the low end. As for the weird and the strange, because you know I had to. Lenovo's La Vie Mini looks a lot like the Alienware Concept UFO prototype from last year. Now this one is also a prototype and it has controllers that attach to the sides to turn this netbook style PC into a thing that looks like a Nintendo Switch. So it's like gaming and PC on the go. 
that's pretty cool. Lastly, Razer always brings some kind of like crazy designs to CES. This year they showed off a smart mask, which looks so dope for any hacker. And they also showed off a fancy gaming chair. So Project Hazel is a mask with RGB lighting, of course, a transparent cover, a built-in mic and speaker, and active air ventilation for protection. Given that it's airtight, I'm interested because I wear glasses and Colorado has cold weather in the winter. You get me? You probably understand if you wear glasses as well. I would totally wear this. I would wear it when I go to DEF CON in the summer, assuming that we would be able to do that, just because of all the smoke in the casinos and because I like wearing RGB things whenever I go to hacker conventions. It's fun. Then we have Project Brooklyn, which is a gaming chair that has a retractable, rollable 60-inch OLED screen that comes out of the back of the chair. Now, while I could see Hazel being released, Brooklyn? Probably not, at least not for several years, and we will probably see something completely different in the future. Now, there is a lot more to see coming out this week about CES, so if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. My biggest thanks to my newest s'mores on Buy Me A Coffee, as well as on Patreon, including my newest patron, Vern McSee. Thank you so much to everyone for supporting this channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you have seen from CES so far that you are interested in. If you missed my coverage yesterday, check out the video on my channel. It's also linked down below. Thanks again so much to my s'mores for subscribing and for watching. I'm Shannon Morris and I will see you soon. Bye y'all.